This is a HP 350 G1 with a bad screen. Oh, good lord. First thing you need to do is remove the battery by pulling this hinge and this hinge at the same time the battery just pops right out. Now HP's service guide requires you to remove the entire motherboard of the laptop to remove the dis display assembly. We don't need to do all that. All we need to do is remove the cover to this screw here and this screw here. We're going to start there and then we're going to take off this bezel here. I very carefully took a razor blade, pop off those screw covers, and remove the two screws on the bottom here. Um, the next step is we're going to get um, underneath this bezel here, up top and below, and then it'll just pry up and we'll get the bezel to pop right off. So that's what we'll do next. I was able to again by taking my fingers and uh, gently prying from the bottom here and it'll just you'll hear clips and the adhesive kind of come a loose. Uh, so we're going to do that all the way around the bezel. This part's not for the faint of heart and uh, don't worry about the uh, little oil that we're giving on the screen right now because we're going to throw it out anyways, right? The side part easily comes off um, by prying and you're going to start on the bottom here and then now it'll start coming loose and it'll start popping from the top. Um, see if I can get a little bit here on camera. See that? Hear that? That's that's uh, that's a good sound. So we're gonna do that for the bottom here. Uh, just take your finger along. Like like I said, no tools required. Uh, just don't afraid about you. Don't be afraid you're gonna break it. And let's, let's finish her on camera if I can here. Hear that adhesive? Yeah, that's the tough part. Um, just gotta muscle it a little bit. Let me go ahead and put the camera down. I'm gonna finish this up without bending too much. Okay, with a little bit of elbow grease, I grabbed from the top here, it came right out. It was just a little adhesive there. Um, same thing with the bottom and by the hinges, this all just pops right off. Oh, look at that. So this uh, panel replacement looks a little bit different um, than what I've done before. As for the older display assemblies, you had screws, uh, probably about four screws on this edge. And notice this one doesn't really have any. So it makes our job a little easier, right? So we're not going to touch the screws here. Um, I'm not going to touch the screw here. Um, I mean, these all these screws around here, I'm not, I'm not going to touch at this point. So the first thing I want to do is I want to tighten these screws here. I mean, while you got it open, you might as well get it all tightened up for the user, right? These big black screws. So let's tighten those up. And then we're un only going to uns uh, unscrew these particular screws. So you got two at the bottom, one here and one here, and then two at the top, and then we're going to do the inner ones. So this one's kind of like a, a metal here, and then this one's like a lighter metal. So we're going to unscrew this one, if I get the camera to focus, and um, unscrew the inner one is here. And then we'll, we'll see what happens. I, I think this whole display is going to pop out. Let's take a look at our new one, um, and you'll see that it, they actually give you these little metal parts here. So I think it's going to screw right in. And we don't have to we don't have to worry about um, you know screws on the edges. That makes it nice. It's a, a benefit of everything getting thinner, right? So um, this laptop screen is from laptopscreen.com. Um, the link is in the description. Uh, brand new screen, great price, and uh, should get this laptop all fixed up. All right, we got those just four screws out, and this panel is going to top. This panel is going to fall right out. And that, that's all we got to do. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this panel. It's just going to flip down, and um, I'll show you the cable connector. I'm going to pop that off, and I'm going to pop in the new one. So I just wanted to give a, a little quick, quick clip here before I go ahead and do that. All right, so yeah, I just uh, pulled the panel out. Notice these screws are still screwed in. I'm going to go ahead and tighten those after this. Um, but yeah, we didn't have to touch any of those. That's, that's pretty time-saving. Um, here's the back of the panel. This is where they tell you, hey, don't touch, it's white, right? Um, and then the only connector we need to remove is right here. We're going to pull the tape back, and it's just going to slide right out. And then uh, our replacement screen will have that same connector, and we'll just slide that cable back in. Um, as far as cable routing, we don't have to do anything except, you know, just push that back in. Um, it's going to fit right just like it did is when we uh, pop the new panel in. So let's go ahead and remove this connector right now. So I carefully used a razor blade to uh, get this tape peeled up. And then this, this should just with a little, uh, not much power at all, just pull right out. That's we're going to go probably do this off camera. Oh, 
Oh, it just pops right out. Um, like I said, we're gonna toss this old panel. This is my favorite part, right? Just throw it out. We'll dispose of it um, like we're supposed to. Um, let's go ahead and put our new panel face down here, and then we're gonna go ahead and use the existing tape to tape our new connector back on. Or tape the same connector onto our new screen back on. All right. All right, here's our new panel all connected up. Yep, the connector just slides again, and you just put the tape back down. And uh, this is pretty taut right now. We're gonna head to, once the panel goes back in, I mean, this will all fit together just like it did. Uh, once I do that, before screwing any screws in, we're gonna head to fire up the laptop and then make sure this new screen works. All right, here's the moment of truth. Nice, Claire. Uh, that's a little more like it. So of course they, uh, we just shut the down computer the, the improper way and it uh, looks like the screen's working. So we're gonna have it go ahead and button everything back up. It's gonna take just four screws around the new display here. Um, and then we're gonna push the bezel back on um, and it just pops around the corners. Um, and then the only two screen, screws there are at the bottom here and here. And we'll put those screen covers back on. And we basically did this repair in about 10 minutes where it, where it could have took at least two to three hours. Four screws are back in to each of the corners here. Um, let's just double check and make sure our, our uh, display cable is, is nice and you know, tucked in now, tucked in there for our, our bezel that we're just going to pop on. So let's go ahead and do that. Just wanted to note, as I was snapping back on the bezel, um, you also want to you know, flip it on its backside and uh, make sure that you snap all the way around here on the backside and make sure it's all flush before putting in the final two screws. Uh, same with the uh, the top here. See how it's all flush? It'll just snap back in there like, it ne we, like we never even took it apart. So make sure this is all flush, and then we're going to go ahead and um, pull this up carefully. Put these last two screws in and the screw covers, which use the same adhesive as they had before. All right, we got power. We got a uh, screw covers back in. Um, so it's like this never even happened. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a test before we ship it back to the customer. Um, tell it to start when it's normally here. Uh, since we cheated, let's let's kind of be a little rough with it because that's what the customer's going to do. Slap it down, give it a little couple slaps. Um, make sure window's starting. And, and, uh, go ahead and double check the bezels around here. Looks like she's... Uh, just about there. All right, that's what we want to see. Um, and looks like another success story. Thanks for tuning in, and you're all set. Pop the battery in, and it's good to go.